What is going on guys, Nathan here, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are adding on to the video I think I uploaded about two or three weeks ago, the one about the mistakes that many small YouTubers make. Now this video, I'm making pretty much because I just felt like I didn't do the subject full justice on that video, because there was a lot of stuff that I could have said that I just didn't. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about those things that I just didn't say. So let's get right into it. All right, so hopping right into it. First mistake that I see a lot of people, a lot of small YouTubers doing, to be honest, is acting like they have an audience when they really don't. Now, don't take this the wrong way. Um, I don't mean like, oh, you know what, subscribe and like the video. Uh, that's fine, that's fine, you know. Like, I went a little bit more in-depth with, you know, the, like the subscribing factor of that in my last video. But um, moving aside from that, the fact that a lot of people say, oh, I've been getting a lot of messages from you guys. They're like, oh, please leave a comment down below, like always saying that kind of stuff, acting like, you know, you have like a huge fan base or at least, you know, somewhat of a fan base when you only have like 10 or 15 subscribers. Just don't do that. It just makes you look more, you know, how do I even say it? Like more lowly, if that makes any sense. And it just makes people like overlook you in a way like, oh, why is this dude acting like that? I mean, nobody's watching him. He's only getting like one or two views per video and he maybe has like, I don't know, two or three subs. So just don't do that, guys. It just looks unprofessional. Now, the second one is more of an opinion type thing, but I personally think that it's a good type of subject I should touch on. Now a lot of small YouTubers in their description mainly, they like type all their social media out and all that kind of stuff. First of all, think about it. If you only have, let's just say 15 subs, right? Um, do you think that many people are going to actually be watching your videos? And even if that, you know, let's just say one video just happens to go somewhat, you know, well and go somewhat viral and you get like 200 or 300, maybe even a thousand views. Um, you may even like, you know, maybe, yeah, you have like 50 likes on it, even if that. Um, possibly some people might have read your description and maybe one or two people actually go to your, you know, your following page, whatever, like Instagram or Twitter or whatever, your social media page, and maybe one or two of them might actually follow you. But here's the thing. If you were, um, you know, a small channel within that, you know, that really low range, um, the best bet is don't over flood people, you know, overflow people with like all these things to do. You know what? First of all, you know, you're a new YouTuber. You need to focus on your videos and your quality. But then at the end of the video, you're like, oh, you know what? Leave a like. That's fine. Like I said before. And you're telling them to subscribe. Hey, okay. If the dude likes your video. Yeah, they'll subscribe. But that's like, that's pretty much it. And if you want to go ahead and tell them to leave a comment, don't do it all the time. But every once in a while, if you want them to leave a comment, tell them to leave a comment. But, and then going in the description and then typing in all these links to your, I don't know, your multi social networks I, that's just too much guys just don't overwhelm people with your stuff and moving on so the third thing I want to touch on is this thing about tags now a lot of you guys might have already known about TubeBuddy it's like this Google Chrome extension that my friend told me about recently and it's a lifesaver life saver, guys um, for any of you guys that are you know starting off YouTube or whatnot obviously um, but here's the thing with TubeBuddy um, I've noticed like it actually gives you the option to look at how many tags people put on their videos and if you really wanted to you could take their tags I mean it's not illegal or anything but yeah, so I honestly observe many smaller YouTubers and they don't fill up their tags all the way. If you guys want more people to find your videos, help it along, you know what, add, you know, I mean, hashtags are kind of a way, but, you know, besides that, fill up your tags, like, section, guys. Just fill it up with something relevant, you know, like, put in your channel's name a few times or something that's related to your channel. And, you know what, just describe some stuff, like, I don't know, if your channel's about, like, Call of Duty, type in, like, I don't know, um, shooter or first-person shooter or, like, and here's the thing, if you guys download TubeBuddy, um, it actually tells you how good of a tag it is. So just go through that, like, see if it's a good tag. If it's not a good tag, if it's like, I don't know, like high volume and like high competition, it's obviously not a good tag. So don't use that tag. Try to find stuff that's actually not as much use in a way and that'll get you more views because if you're keep in mind if you're on the top of a list um you're gonna get more views than if you're on like page 50 or something all right guys so once again that tags thing don't just put one or two tags and just oh you know what i can't think of anything keep thinking of stuff that relates to your video and just fill up the whole tag meter or bar or whatever you guys want to call that now the last thing i want to touch on is consistency and quality i'm gonna put those two things together because they kind of go hand in hand so let's start off with consistency a lot of people you know what they make videos and you know it's small youtubers oh you know what oh I'll post one here and like three weeks later I'll post another one and like the next day I'll post another one and they're just not consistent like I know it's kind of cliche at this point and the next stuff I'm um, like the next things I'm gonna talk about is kind of cliche at this point because of so many small youtubers doing it um, but it really does help guys it will like draw people back to your channel if they actually like your content be consistent now moving on to quality um, you know what just for quality 
And this kind of goes hand in hand, like I said, with consistency, because when people think of quality, oh, you know what, I'm going to be consistent, I'm going to be uploading every other day, or every day, or every three days, and their videos look like crap, like, their microphone sucks, they're, like, if they're not recording with a capture card, their camera's wobbling all over the place, or something like that, um, or whatever the case may be, if you're not a gaming YouTube channel, if you're a vlogger, same thing, you know what, it's just, like, some crappy quality, some, n some low lighting, or whatever, whatever the case may be, guys. Just remember quality over quantity. So if your stuff is actually good, that's going to draw people to actually, you know what, um, subscribe to you or actually, you know, leave that like that you guys are asking for or actually put that comment down in the comment section that you guys are asking for. Um, just be consistent, like I said once again, and, you know, put in quality. Don't make it trashy. It's like, oh, you know what, this is going to only take me like 20 minutes to do, right? No, double that. Make it 40 minutes. I know it kind of sounds, eh to some people but still guys if you guys want to get somewhere on youtube or at least want to grow then put the time that it deserves into it and watch you guys will get an outcome from it i promise but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did if it was helpful then let me know um and hopefully i can you know turn this into a series later on because quite a few people have liked this and you guys have been telling me and i do appreciate that um even though i'm still a smaller youtuber um i do have a good handful of people that actually leave feedback and you know what comment on my stuff sorry about that but yeah comment on my stuff you know what, on a regular basis and just message me and stuff so i do appreciate that guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this once again and i'll catch you guys in my next video peace Oh, 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 oh,